Finishing up with favorite daughter Emily, um, I obviously went to the gym this morning and I got done with my run. I did another like four miles today. Feeling so much better today. Like I'm feeling really, really good. I just needed a good night's rest and now I feel like a million times better. Milo has his music class today. So after I pick him up from school, we'll have to do his music homework and then we're off to music class. I'll have to check his calendar and see if parents come to the lesson today. If they don't come, then I really wanna go to Walmart and get the new holiday wax melts for winter. I am obsessed with wax melts. To me, they seem more affordable than candles, but I could be completely like out of line with that comment. But I feel like they're more affordable or at least you can get more of a variety for the same price. For something, for some reason, there's something about a candle that like, I don't wanna use it. Like it smells really good and I love it when I have it on, but I don't wanna use them because I don't wanna waste them. I don't know. It's weird. So I realized candles was not a thing for me because I ended up hoarding them. So then I thought, let's try wax melts. And uh, I've been enjoying it because you get like, you know, a little package of like six pods or eight pods or something like that. Um, and they're only like $2 at Walmart. And I'm like, two bucks? Like, heck yeah, if I like it, I can come back and get another one. Um, so I've been using wax melts like crazy. Well, I know they have their fall scents or their winter scents available now. Um, at least they should, I'm assuming they should. If they have their Christmas decor up, they should have the fall or the winter holiday scents. So I really, 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 really wanna go get some because I know this is like another chatty, like sit down, we're gonna talk about stuff, but this is incredibly important to me. I think I've mentioned this in last year's Vlogmas, but there was a candle that they had at Target and this was like three years ago. Oh, it is fantastic. I love the way this thing smells and I think this is probably what started my whole like, hoarding candles <laughs> because I burned it out. Like I bought two of them and then I bought a larger one and I burned them out because I loved it so much. And then Target stopped making them. Like they stopped stocking them. I don't know, I, it's been two, three years since I bought this and it hasn't come back. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if they stopped making this. The brand still exists. Like you can still get like the, the happiness one and the love one and the calm one. They just don't have this joyful one. And I'm like, oh, I love it so much. It says that it's peppermint and sage. And I, I love it. I have been searching for another candle that has like this sage peppermint blend because it is so delicious and it smells wonderful like it smells like christmas and i absolutely adore it and so um i want to see what they have for their wax melts this year because i've always looked in the candles and this is the first like winter of using wax melts i'm like this close to starting to make my own candles so i can make this <laughs> because it smells so good i'm gonna change somewhat presentable that way i don't scare the children on the vlog but uh yeah let's get this day going i'm feeling good i'm feeling energized and ready to make things happen so because I'm the queen of distraction and procrastination, I wanted to really quick talk to you guys about a possible dress purchase. Um, I had mentioned in, uh, what was that? Like Sunday's vlog, I think that I had been asked by my congregational leader at church to give a, like a sermon or like a talk to the congregation on Sunday. Hold on, there's something on the camera. And, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it, like I said, yes. But I kinda wanna get a new dress. Like instead of actually working on my talk like I should, I'm like, mm, maybe I should find a new dress for Sunday. So I was looking at dresses last night, like in yesterday when I wasn't feeling so good. And I found a couple of dresses that I kind of, I don't know, I kinda wanna try, but I'm nervous, I'm nervous. So this was the one that I landed on that I think I like the most. Um, it's a wraparound, it's a faux wraparound or is it an actual wraparound? I don't remember. Yeah, it's like in this really beautiful like white and like pink peonies and like blue baby's breath and whatnot. I think it's really, really pretty. The other option is also tempting where it's this blue one. I thought that was really pretty, but I kind of like this white one more. So the only problem is, is that the biggest size is an extra large or a double XL. And I think I would probably need like a triple because mama's got uh, huge tracks of land over here. And uh, my tracks of land are not gonna fit in that <laughs> very well. She's got like a decent size. I feel really bad for saying like, oh, look at the boobs on her. But like, I've got like, 
that's about as big as I am. Probably I'm maybe even bigger than that. Um, and so the fact that she is making it work makes me think, okay, I might be able to do that. My only issue is that it's a little bit on the low cut side. Like, I feel like that is not appropriate for church. <laughs> And you know, my huge tracts of land, it's gonna be slightly bigger than that. So I think I'm also gonna pick up one of these. It's like a tank top, like cami dress. So it's basically like a slip. And then I can kind of cover up a little bit and make it a little bit more appropriate for church. So I don't know, I'm thinking about getting this. I have to decide about that. Um, if I order it today, it'll be here by Thursday, which would be great. Um, I did find some other really cute dresses, but I just don't, they're not gonna get here in time. Like there's this one, I will show it to you because I am so tempted to get this. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm not gonna say anything, but I want you to, to tell me what you think about it because I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, let me show you. So it's this one. It's called the Women's Dress Long Sleeve Black Maxi Winter Fall Swing Cowl Neck Plain Casual Dress. Whew. And um, it's kind of hard to see, like my camera's not doing the best job. Let me see if I can like, yeah, you can see it better with the gray one. Um, the gray gives you a better idea of like what it looks like. Like it's long sleeves and it's got like this cowl and then it's like floor length, which I love. And I think this looks so cute, but like, I don't know, I feel like, it looks a little bit weird. Like, I don't know if it needs like a belt or if it needs like a long like necklace to go down in the middle of it. But then I realized once I looked at the brown one, why it kind of throws me off a little bit because it looks like a monk, right? It looks like something a monk would wear, like Friar Tuck. Like you put like a little rope around your waist and you're cosplaying as Fire Truck. Fire truck. And so I feel like maybe that's why I like the green one because it's like Maid Marian. I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of into this dress but I can't decide what color I should choose. Cause like this purple one looks weird and I feel like the pink one looks weird too. Cause obviously I would get the pink one, but I feel like it looks a little bit odd and uh, I just can't decide. The only problem with this is that it won't be here. Like I think it must come from like overseas because it says that like it'll get here in January, um, which I mean, it'll still be usable. Cause let's be honest, it's cold here in Wisconsin until like May. So it would still be like, I feel like it's just a really good winter dress because you basically have a built-in scarf. I don't know, I just can't decide what color. Okay, it's time to take a break. It is like 12.30 and I'm starving. I need a break. So I just finished doing the bottle shots for Baroque Jungle the, from the fall China Glaze. I have three polishes left. I am starving. I'm so hungry. So I need to go have uh, some lunch. I think for lunch today, I'm gonna have a turkey burger. It's one of my favorite things. Cause it's so easy. All you gotta do is just turn on the oven and broil yourself a lovely, delicious turkey burger. So that is what I'm gonna have. Oh, the tamales are looking at me. Look at them. They're looking at me like, don't you want us for lunch? Oh, we're so delicious. We are wonderful and yummy. No, no, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. All right, what was I getting in here? I was gonna get some carrots. There are the carrots. All right, so I got myself some carrots. You stay in there. You stay, I don't want you. I don't need you. Oh, this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. Drop time for vlogs are gonna change. They're moving from 9 a.m. Central Standard to now four o'clock Central Standard. That way, if I have like a main channel video, those will go up at 4.30 and the vlog will already be up. And so I think that's gonna be better for me. And it gives me a little bit more time in the morning to do like last minute edits if I need to, or if something goes wrong, I'll have enough time to re-edit and re-upload and not cut into anything else. So. That's gonna be the case from here on out. But I thought it would be fun to open up 
one of my Black Friday purchases. I things got crazy over the weekend with my parents coming in and staying for the weekend and all and then the church stuff, but I have four, three. I have three deliveries to open with you guys. I've got a Black Friday purchase from Polished for days that came in on Saturday. I have, or Friday, came in on Friday. I have a Fair Maiden polish that, or Fair Maiden order from a Black Friday sale that came in on Saturday. And then I have an Erin Condren order that came in like a week ago, but I've been saving it for Vlogmas. So we have Black Friday orders from Polished for Days. So we're gonna open up this one first. I'm excited, I'm excited. This is 2017 Black Friday exclusive. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Ooh, that's lovely. So this is the Black Friday exclusive. It might be kind of difficult to see, but it's like a duochrome, sparkly, really, really beautiful, finely milled, multi-chrome goodness, goodness. Okay, next, these are, so then these should be the actual polishes that I ordered. See what we got. We're gonna start with this one. This one is Cupid. This is part of the um, 2017 holiday collection, and I think this one in particular is her uh, charity polish. Um, but this one's really pretty. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, it is wonderful. It is like red and silver with like a multi-chrome business happening in there. Oh, those are so beautiful. It definitely looks different than the pictures. So, oh, awesome. Okay, this next one is Comet. So her um, holiday set was named after all of the reindeer, all of Santa's reindeer. So each of the bottles are a different reindeer. I didn't get all of them, but I picked out quite a few of them. Um, so this one's Comet. As soon as I can get the bubble wrap open. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, I love this one. This one's gorgeous. A green and blue multi-chrome with uh, holographic and silver glitter in there. I don't know if you can see what's happening. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and this next one is Blitzen. And I remember Blitzen being fantastic. If this is the one that I'm thinking of, it's like silvery, amazing golden goodness like oh, it's like silvery gold fantasticalism oh yes oh man oh that is gorgeous isn't it heavenly it is so beautiful oh loving this oh this one's gorgeous oh i can't wait to get that one on my nails Okay, and then I think I have three more in this little package. Um, so this one's Rudolph from The Holiday. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty, different, different. Not exactly what I was expecting, because again, it's kind of hard to tell what you're getting when you look at the pictures. But this one's like a red multi-chrome with, with some like holographic flakies and glitters and stuff. It's interesting, it's different. Again, it's not what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting it to be more of like a red shimmer, like a deep scarlet red shimmer. The multi-chrome is kind of exciting. Whew. Okay, and then this next one is called Province. Province, I don't know what, I can't remember what collection it's from. Oh yeah, this one's beautiful. It's like silvery blue, purpley unicorn goodness. There's some really gorgeous multi-chrome flakies in there all in like a heavenly silvery holographic glitter base. Gorgeous, and this last one is called Oahu. Mm, I, I have been eyeing this one for so long. <gasps> yes! Oh, you gotta be quiet because you don't wanna scare it. Gorgeous, it's like a classic Caribbean teal with some mm. hollow and some oh. like multi-chrome flakies that are almost pastel looking. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Man, these are good. These are good. You can kind of see what's going on here. Aren't they beautiful? Amazing. Those were amazing. And I cannot wait to do a review on those. Like, I can't wait to swatch those. I bet they're going to be gorgeous. Anyway, my burger is done. It's a little bit on the toasty side because I was distracted, but I actually kind of like it a little on the crunchy side. Like when the ends get a little, like when the sides get a little bit burnt. 
<laughs> I kind of like it. I loved it. Oh my goodness, it's so good! It's really, really good! Like, I knew it was written by the same woman who did, um, like, uh, Gilmore Girls and Bunheads, and so I thought it was gonna be like, okay, it's probably gonna be okay, but I loved it! And it was just the pilot, so I'm sure, like, the rest of it's gonna be amazing. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Like, I only expected to, like, watch it for a little bit and then go back to lunch uh, and then go back to swatching. But that was, like, an hour, almost an hour. That was an hour long, and I completely, like, watched the whole thing. I finished my lunch, like, 40 minutes ago. That was so good. I really liked it. I thought it was funny and, like... Oh my goodness, she is adorable, the main girl that they have. And they have Ginny in it from Bunheads that I absolutely adore. Like, I love... Bunheads. That is like probably one of my all-time favorite TV shows. Loved Bunheads so much. I was so mad when they canceled it. But that was really cute. I really liked it. I'm excited to see where it goes. I wonder how many episodes there are. There's only eight. The rest were like bonus stuff. But that was really cute. I mean, it's definitely like there's some nudity involved and there's some cursing, but still like that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Oh, that was a good, that was a good, good use of my time. Um, I have about a half hour before I need to pick up Milo from school. I'm really gonna try hard to get one more swatch done. I have three polishes that are, need to be swatched still. I think I'll be able to do one of them before I need to pick up Milo from school. And then basically as soon as school, as soon as I pick him up, like we have to go, well not go, but It'll be time to get ready for music class. I think we have about an hour before music class, but we have to do his homework and stuff. So I'm gonna get downstairs, I'm gonna get back to swatching, and hopefully I'll get one more polish done before I need to pick him up. Let's see if I can do it. I am done at Walmart, and it was really, really nice. Like, it wasn't too busy. Um, it wasn't too busy at Walmart. Uh, there were actually kind of, there weren't a whole lot of people there. I think I found like the sweet spot at Walmart. You have to go like after three, but before five, because there was like hardly anybody there. I did get some wax melts. They had all of the holiday wax melts, which I was so excited about. They didn't have them in their normal wax melt area, like over by the candles. I did find some aromatherapy drops though, that I'm actually excited to try. I grabbed the spearmint and the peppermint one. Um, to add to the wax melts to kind of make them smell more minty because I love like a pepperminty spearmint smell for winter. I think that's just a great, a great scent for the winter. So then I wandered around and I thought, well, where else could they put them? I'm like, they have these somewhere. I know they have them somewhere. So then I went to the holiday section and sure enough, I found the entire section in their like seasonal part of the store and they had all of their seasonal waxes there. So I definitely picked up some, but I will show you those at home because I got quite a few. Um, and I can't really show them in the car cause they're like small and it's getting dark. So, but I did get a steamer. I got myself a little like personal handheld steamer because I need to restore one of my wigs. Um, the wig that I wear the most and like most of my videos needs to be restored like desperately. Like it's so tangled and ratted on the ends cause it's a really long wig. Um, I need to restore it. So I got myself a handheld steamer. We're gonna be doing that sometime soon this week. Um, I also got more of my cotton balls because I adore these cotton balls at Walmart. They're the best cotton balls ever. And I have tried all the cotton balls. The ones at Walgreens, Target, the grocery store, like, I love the um, Swispers ones at Walmart. They're the best. They're the most dense. 
And then I got something that's maybe a little bit embarrassing, but I want to talk about it because I'm curious to know what you guys think or if you've used it before. I bought this brush on hair remover from Sally Hansen. So I'm a, I'm a Mexican lady, like I'm a Latina, so I've got myself quite the stash and I've been shaving it. Like I have like one of those personal hair shaver things, like those little teeny tiny motorized like shaver things. Um, but I've noticed I'm starting to get like shadows on my face, like almost like freckles. I can't tell if they're freckles or what, but I've never had them before. But like, even though I shave and I get all the hairs off of my like upper lip, it still looks like I have a mustache because of like, I don't know if it's freckles or like birthmarks or like skin discoloration. I'm not sure. So I thought I would try. I'm scared of waxing. I'm too scared of waxing my upper lip. I have seen too many horror stories of waxing the upper lip. And so I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do it. So I decided to try. I'm pretty sure this is like Nair, but for your face. So I'm assuming it's gentler than like regular Nair. And I have pretty sensitive skin, so I don't actually know how this is going to go for me. I really, really, really don't want to wax. Um, but I feel like if this doesn't work, I might have to wax, and that terrifies me. And then I got a bunch of wax melts, and I'll talk about the wax, mel wax melts when I get home. Milo's going to be done in about five minutes, so I'm going to go in and get him, and uh, we will regroup when we get home. Chaz is putting Milo to bed, and I was going to wrap up the vlog for today because I have to start editing. If I don't start editing by like 8 o'clock, it's not going to get done. So I wanted to wrap up the vlog today, but first I wanted to show you guys all of the wax melts that I got at Walmart today that I got while Milo was in school. So these are the wax melts that I found in that like seasonal section at Walmart, not in their normal uh, section like of wax melts and candles like I had to go to the holiday section and this is what I found some of these are limited edition and some of them are like the normal wax melts that I think are always available because they don't say holiday edition so I'm assuming that they're all good this first one that I have is wonderful winter and it has kind of like a woodsy minty smell I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. It's really like this one. Um, I also grabbed Season of Joy. This one has more of a cologne type smell. This one's got like a berry kind of flavor going on. I kind of liked it. It's a little bit different. It's not really like spicy. It's definitely more of like a berry, but not in a sick kind of way. So I, I really thought this one was a good one to try. Um, I loved this one. This is a the Sensational's No Place Like Home Sweet Cardamom and Warm Clove. This is so like spicy. It smells like chai and I absolutely adore this one. It reminds me so much of when you do like the cloves and oranges for Christmas. So good. Really, really like this one. I actually got two of these ones because I thought it smelled so incredibly good. I also got Frosty Winter Nights and this one is really yummy. This one has kind of a pine scent. Like there's not a whole lot of pine. It's definitely more on like the minty fresh side of things and I really really liked it. I picked up two of these ones as well because the mintiness in it was really refreshing and I really really enjoyed it. Almost kind of like a eucalyptusy minty wintergreen freshness that I really really liked. So I got two of these ones as well. This one was so yummy. This one's vanilla cream, or this one's the vanilla caramel spice. It's not labeled as like a holiday limited edition thing. So I want to say this one is probably always available, but I'm not quite sure. Super, super delicious. Definitely spicy, like warm deliciousness happening here. It's really, really light and not a really strong scent. So I love this one too. I think this one's going to be really good to kind of break up some of these stronger scents. I also got this one called cypress and frankincense and this one is the closest i could find to like a good christmas tree scent the pine there were a couple of pine um scents that they had at the store and they were just too artificial for me like they were just really really artificial and this one's not too bad i want to add some mint to this which i'll show you in a minute just to see what it does because i think if i added a little bit of mint it could maybe smell like those candles i had it from target so i'm going to experiment with these ones and then this one is Festive Twinkling Lights, and this one is definitely a holiday edition, so I'm sure it's like limited in availability. Very pine scented, like very, very much pine scented, but not strong or overly pine. And then my favorite out of all of these, I actually bought like four of this, is the Marshmallow Candy Cane. And this genuinely smells like a peppermint candy cane. A little bit sweet, um, but mostly, mostly peppermint candy cane, and I 
loved this so incredibly much. I bought all the rest that they had there and they only had like four or three left. And so I bought them all. Oh, I love this. And I cannot wait to see if I can find more of these because I think this is going to be on all the time because it just smells so good. Um, and then the last thing I got, which I talked about briefly in the car, are some essential oils to kind of mix in with some of these scents, especially the Twinkling Lights one, which has a nice light pine scent but not enough mint and the frankincense and cypress one as well very woodsy smell but i want to add some spearmint and peppermint to it to see if i could bring out more of a minty flavor that is it that is going to be the end of the vlog for today i just really wanted to give you like an in-depth walkthrough of all the wax melts that i got but seriously tomorrow guys i might need to go to that a walmart across town to see if i can find more of these because these are so good this one is so good. Like you can smell it through the package. Oh, it smells like a candy cane. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we might go on an adventure tomorrow to see if I can find more of these because I, I want them all. I want them all. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm done. I'm ready to get editing and get going. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure and get a good sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.